What is significant, however, is motherfucking One Piece. We're in the Water 7 saga, okay? One Piece, Water 7, it's popping off. Uh, I'm devastated, saddened by Nico Robin, but also at the same time, I think this is straight up the coolest group of villains. Now, do you want to know why I think they're the coolest group of villains? Because with the exception of like Lucia or whatever, who kind of was always weird. I always thought he was weird. Kaku and even the bartender, Blue, whatever, Luchi, not Lucia, Luchi, sorry. Bluno and Kaku are so sick. They're like actually cool. They're so cool that you're like, oh man, I, I just don't want this motherfucker to be a bad guy. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Or I'm just like, fuck man. Like, I, why'd you have to be bad? Lucci, on the other hand, is kind of weird. Like, he he was always a bit of an asshole. The fucking pigeon shit was, like, weird anyway. So I didn't never really, like, grew a liking to him. Frankie had his, like, moment. Frankie, like, there's just so much. There's a lot of twists and turns. I'm still not crying uh, over the Going Mary, even though people are like, you're going to cry over the Going Mary, or you're going to cry, you're going to cry Water 7. I don't know if it's because, like, Usopp or Going Mary, but that shit's not making me cry, I'll be honest. Maybe it will, eventually. They're building it up. They're building it up. They're building it up. Stop saying Pepela. Stop saying Pepela. Don't fucking spoil it for me. But yeah, it's really good. I'm pacing my way through. Funny how you said, I hope none of these Galley Law guys are evil. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. I thought Oda is a communist. I thought Oda is a man who loves the working class. And I thought Oda, for all of those reasons, was out there fucking making the working class look good. Turns out Oda is a communist. He's a leftist in the most like leftist way possible. He did he did the thing that leftists always do. Accuse people of being CIA, but he literally made them CIA. What other fucking manga anime writer out there? Okay, what other manga is talking about workers? and unions being infiltrated by the feds, okay? Nobody's doing it like that. No one is doing it like that. I'm just saying, there's literal federale infiltration in the motherfucking working class, dude. What's happening? It's good, it's good as f It's good as f I love it. Oda gets way more left as the series go on to in the show, mechanics of how oppression and cultural genocide works later in different arts too. I mean, the, uh, the, the Snow Island was all about healthcare. Like straight up, if I were to look at like all of the One Piece arcs, I could detail them piece by piece about like how unethical it is to paywall healthcare. <laughs> like literally, that's what that was about, straight up. Uh, Skypea is straight up about like uh, colonial exploitation, uh, imperialism, indigenous people trying to fight back their uh, for their own land. Like Arlon Park was slavery, yeah. It's just, you don't expect like the goofiest motherfucking anime with literally like demonstrably the dumbest fucking main character like sometimes too dumb i'll just say it luffy sometimes is so dumb that it just like pisses me off when i'm just like come on dude like how how are you this stupid like how i still love him but i'm just like come on dude of course you hate <laughs> you hate luchi because he's italian oh my god that probably is the truth oh my god you're probably right anyway what episode are you at? I don't know exactly where I'm at. Um, I'm learning about like the, the background of like Frankie and, and Tom and all this shit. Someone immediately said 248. Jesus Christ, dude. Why do you know that? Is that true? I don't even know. Yeah, Cuddy Flam and the trains too. You know my ass was captivated when I saw that fucking C uh, train. You know, that's like, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. They got everything. Water 7 has everything, dude. It has infrastructure, which I think is cool, you know, like Netherlands style. It has trains. It has world government, CIA. I mean, it's got everything. It's got sick ass fucking characters, villains that you don't want to be villains. Like that's how you know they're good. That's how you know they're well-written. You know what I mean? It's just awesome. Yeah, it's free transportation. Oda even shows the importance of high-speed rail. Yeah, exactly. One of, if not the best arc. I mean, I hope it's not the best arc. Because I, I don't want it to be the, the best arc. I want there to be more arcs like that. You know what I mean? People overhype it like it's a meme to say it's the best. It's great, though, and a turning point for the show. Don't worry, you have Ennis Lobby, Impel Down, just to name two. They get exponentially better each time. Oda loves boobs. There are there are damn big. That's true. I mean, he's right. Oda does love... Uh, Oda, Oda does love him some titties. Like, oh my fucking god, ask him. Real life, Nico Robin. 
What? That's not true. This is not what? Why did you say that? Why did you send this to me? And you got me excited. This is not real life Nico Robin. Like she's just hot, but that's not that's not real life Nico Robin. You just y'all are fucking oh god. First of all, no one can be real life Nico Robin. Two she's 2D. That's where I'm going to leave it on. I'm not going to say anything extra on that. A lot of the shows about overthrowing oppressive systems. Yeah. Okay.